Hi, my name is Chris with ChrisBello.com, and today I want to talk to you briefly about overcoming and conquering your fears. So basically, mankind, we have this fear as an instinct, right? Back in the day when we were cavemen and we were trying to build fires and run from lions and stuff, we needed fear to keep us safe and to keep us out of harm's way, to literally save our lives in many cases. In today's day and age, a lot of the basic necessities in life we take for granted. We We've got shelters, we've got roof over our head, we've got food on the table, we don't have to hunt for our meals. Life's pretty good, right? But we still have that fear deep down inside. And oftentimes that translates to things that are actually pretty insignificant when we look at it, right? We fear what others will think if we fail. We fear about starting a business and having to close shop if it doesn't work out. We fear uh, speaking in public because we might sound stupid or make a mistake or stutter or whatever it is. We have a lot of fears that ultimately are not valid. If it's not going to kill you or hurt you, what do you have to be afraid of? All you're going to do is grow by stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things and experiences. Think about the first time you've ever hiked a mountain. It was probably scary. You might have lost your footing a little bit on a couple of loose rocks. You look down and you realize, wow, I'm really high up and I would hate to fall and just roll down this cliff or mountain, right? But that doesn't stop you. You, you see the top. You're almost there. You keep on pushing. You want to see the view from the top. You don't want to see it from halfway up the mountain and then walk back down. At least most people don't. I personally want to see everything the world has to offer that's worth seeing, which is all the good stuff. So here's a couple tips to overcome fear. Create a list of times that you were afraid or things that you were scared to do that you successfully pushed forward and that you accomplished. And anytime you're scared to try something new, refer to that list and remind yourself that you are a badass and you are capable of so much more than you think. Personally for me, I've gone skydiving several times. I'm skydive certified. I actually want to get a high definition picture of me skydiving in the air, maybe from another instructor, another skydiver, and I want to blow it up and put it on my wall with the caption, fear nothing underneath. Anytime I'm scared to make a cold call or ask for a sale or expand my limits or step out of my comfort zone, I can look up at that picture and remind myself, Chris, you have done things that so few people in this world have done. Sure, people might go skydiving when they turn 18 once. You've jumped out of a plane willingly, multiple times, on your own, separate from an instructor. You've landed that parachute by yourself. You've taken some falls. You've rolled on your landing, but you've also stood up a lot of those landings too. So I can kind of coach myself and say, Chris, this isn't as scary as you think it is, or you're capable of more than you think you are. Put a rubber band on your wrist. Every time you're feeling afraid or nervous or scared, just smack yourself and remind yourself, look, stop being scared, try something new, and ask yourself what's the worst that can happen. Is it going to kill you? Are you going to ruin your rep reputation? If not, then you're probably going to grow and it's probably worth trying. Even put a sticky note on your monitor saying you are a badass or you are capable or the possibilities are endless. Just motivate yourself to try something new and step out of your comfort zone today. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for future content. I do release new episodes every single Monday. I'm looking to grow the channel, get more content on there, get better backgrounds and maybe even some better equipment so we can have more professional audio and video and all that. But please be sure to subscribe and make sure to check out my website, chrisbello.com, as well as my podcast, which is really rising up there in popularity in the management and marketing section. And it's called the Entrepreneur Motivation podcast. So please do go check that out. I look forward to connecting with you. Follow me on Instagram at chrisbello09 and I'll see you on the next episode.